It was early high school, sitting in Spanish class, kind of listening, kind of not. Had a project due in a week, and I mean, I guess you guys can get the rest. You know what it's like being in school. Something special about this class is it would always make me think in a creative way. Because we always had these projects, and I remember I actually got assigned a project where I had to make a video. And when I made this video, I went above and beyond. It was actually about how to make hot chocolate at home. All the kids in my class basically took their phone and recorded any regular video that you would do for a project like this. But me, I recorded an intricate video with voiceovers and and editing and music and everything like that and during that time i was doing that project my friend who i'm not going to name actually was going viral on tiktok this was early tiktok by the way when everybody thought it was cringy to even have the app and dancing was about the only thing you saw charlie d'amelio was going viral for the first time the world was different as we know it today anyway after i finished this project i had this creative spark in my head that lit a fire that just would not go away telling me that i needed to make a video my friend was sitting here getting hundreds of thousands of views on tiktok and i was like it can't be that hard if he did Fast forward a little bit, I'm at my friend Ryan's house, and we were watching the Logan Paul KSI fight with all of my friends. It was actually the fight where Logan Paul and KSI had a draw. And once again, this had just created this spark of electricity in my brain where I was like, Logan Paul, like this dude's an influencer, and now he's boxing in front of hundreds of thousands of people. The Logan Paul and KSI ended up drawing that match, and the next morning I woke up, I told my friends, hey, I'm gonna make a TikTok, let's do this. Sat down and recorded a dumb little video to a Bryson Tiller song that was kind of like a thirst trap. Where we had these like Fortnite masks on and then we look at the camera and the masks are off. Just a little transition, nothing special to it. I hit the post button that morning. Fast forward an hour, I noticed it had thousands of views and I was literally freaking out. It was a lot easier to get followers back then and they were just flooding in. I remember I was checking my phone every couple of minutes and every time I checked it had another 5,000 views. We skipped forward a couple days and I noticed that my video literally had 30,000 likes. Out of those 30,000 likes, I gained 11,000 followers and this was life changing. That feeling felt so good to me that I never wanted it to leave. So you might be wondering what I did. From that day forward and years to come, I have posted every single day on social media. Life was amazing. I literally could not get enough of myself because I was so happy. This was my goal. It was one of those things where I literally said I would do it and I did it. Unlike most people. I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I just knew that I loved seeing the attention. But then something changed. People at school started looking at me a little bit different and my friends started treating me a little bit different too. And my name went from just being Dylan to Dylan X Latham, which is kind of funny when you think about it, but that was my username. And when you look at it from a different perspective, that was pretty much people just trying to make fun of me or disrespect me in a way. I remember sitting in that Spanish class and the guy that sat behind me started calling me that. And then when he started calling me it, everybody did. I thought people would kind of be happy for me in a way, but it was the complete opposite. It felt like everything had turned on me in an instant. And I was just a young kid in high school thinking I was doing something for myself. Walking through the halls, I noticed people looking at me a little bit differently than before, but really not in a good way whatsoever. Whatsoever. Suddenly, my childhood dream of being quote unquote famous or getting followers had started to turn into something negative and I never thought it would. With all this being said, this negative energy wasn't something that I wasn't used to because I actually, before social media, used to make music. And I got so much hate for that because I was a little kid, I was using auto-tune, Apple earbuds, the whole yard. In a way, I started to become accustomed to this level of sort of hatred towards me for no reason. Well, I guess there was a reason, but in my opinion, it was a dumb one. I was just trying to be myself. We fast forward a little bit and that's when the virus happened, if you know what I'm talking about. During this time, it felt like a breakaway from from all the hatred I was experiencing, forcing myself to go to school just to hear kids talk about me all the time. I got to sit in my room away from school and just make videos like I wanted to do. Making these videos, I was going more and more viral every single time until eventually I uploaded one video where I said, guys, if I get 500,000 likes, I'll get a perm. That video got 2 million likes and skyrocketed my channel. Hitting all the way up to 250,000 followers, I was literally on top of the world again after receiving all this hate. It felt like it was all worth it. Not only that, but people loved the perm. But once again, just to make things worse, TikTok was talking about getting banned. The government was really just trying to get TikTok out of our hands like they're doing currently right now. But this scared me a lot more because it would have felt like I would have taken all this hate for nothing. We skip ahead to the next year. I'm a junior in high school and I had like 340,000 followers. On top of this extremely high high of me getting all these followers and all this attention, I also had the most hate I've ever had in my life. And something that kind of hurt me and kind of made me feel weird is even the people that I thought were my friends were sort of joining in on this hatred against me. One of the worst moments I remember, I was kind of getting clowned, if you want to call it that, in front of a lot of people. And I had one of my friends who I really liked at the time. He was sitting there watching it happen and it looked like he kind of felt bad. And I was just sitting there paralyzed in like anxiety and just 
like why why are you guys making fun of me like i'm just trying to live my life do my own thing i'm sitting there just getting hammered for literally it felt like hours but it was only a couple minutes and then the most shocking thing happened the person that i thought was one of my closest friends at the time looks at me and starts making jokes alongside them but it wasn't like funny jokes it was more just hurtful looking around just seeking for some sort of help just some way out there was nothing i was sat there a junior in high school just getting completely disrespected and in a way it felt like bullying even though i don't want to call it that i don't want to victimize myself at all but i'm just sitting there circled by all these people just getting disrespected and i don't care who you are i don't care if you're the most famous rich wealthy person if you're sitting there just in your face people being like this it doesn't feel good i was considering quitting i was considering giving everything up because even my friends the people that i held dearest to my heart turned against me so i'm sitting there i i genuinely felt like i was about to cry as a guy I, I that you know how that looks like just not good i'm sitting there tears watering up in my eyes just in this class i either want to do my work or do my videos that's all i wanted to do but i couldn't i remember my hands and feet were just sweating and i was i was shaking out of anger anxiety fear just the unknown felt like everything i've done was worthless then the absolute worst nightmare that i could have possibly had came true i lost it I lost every single thing that I had. I was banned on TikTok permanently. At this time, almost 400,000 followers just gone. And guess what? The hate didn't stop at all. People seemed happy to watch me fall and watch me be nothing. Watch me just go back to being, I guess, worthless. People ceased to realize, and what just made no sense to me is they didn't know my home life. They didn't know that social media is what I was using to literally pay my bills. My parents were going through financial struggle. Neither of them had a job. My stepmom, who I lived with full time, was in the hospital. I had nothing, no money. Honestly, it was even hard to eat at times. All my friends turned against me. And to make things worse, my girlfriend had just broken up with me. And I saw a photo with her with another guy. You think it ends there? No, it gets a lot worse. My grandma, the person who I looked up to my entire life, had cancer. And to make things even worse, I'm telling you, it doesn't stop here. My mom, my biological mom, who I love so much, had a brain tumor. All of this felt like somebody came up to me and just smacked me across the face with a baseball bat. I was nothing, literally nothing at all. I lost everything. Could imagine where my mind was. I felt alone. I felt like I had nothing. And I was to the point where I was going to do something that I don't even want to say on camera. Because when you think about it, everything I worked for was just empty. My heart was an empty void of just nothingness. Eventually, it all led up to one breaking point, And I actually have a video on my camera roll. I hope I can find it where my power in my house was shut off and I had to pay for it myself. All the food in the fridge went bad. My house was an absolute mess at the time. I was living in this really small house. I remember that day I had nothing to eat, nothing at all, just zero. All the food in the fridge was completely bad. I, I was starving and I took a video and I'm gonna look for it in my phone actually right now to hopefully find it. Hey guys, Dylan, I wanna make this video just cause I'm in a pretty bad situation right now and I, I, I just wanna show you guys. So I just got home from school and the power's out. We have nothing to eat. We look at the house, look at the house. The cabinets are peeling off. This is literally, look at this room. Look at this room. Are y'all, y'all seeing this? Power's out, no heating, no AC. Look, I'm 17. You think I have control over this? And I'm literally making this video not because I'm ungrateful. I'm extremely grateful because I know so many people have it worse. When I can come back and refer to this video, I'm going to be in a nice house. This is just motivation for me to do better. That's it. I'm 17, 20, 23. I'm going to come back to this video when I'm doing a lot better because I know I'm mark of the new person that I wanted to become. Because when you're at the bottom, at least for me where I was, the only way was up. Literally the only way. I don't think of anything else worse that could have happened. Oh, except it got worse. I crashed my car. It costed me thousands of dollars. This ended up ripping the bumper off my car completely in the front, meaning that I was driving around in a car that was essentially totaled. People, oh my gosh, that was such a good thing to make fun of. When I was down and out. People just wanted to kick me while I was down. They were making fun of me about social media, and now they're making fun of me of something that I really couldn't control my finances at the time. Car was just done it was cooked what felt the most weird to me is people kind of treated me like a spoiled rich kid not knowing that i was literally struggling fighting against pretty much poverty one more bad expense i probably would have been homeless and nobody even knew that that's when i made the change i was not going to let myself fail under any circumstances so i started a new tiktok account where i gained a hundred thousand followers in less than two weeks this new tiktok account was about self-improvement because that's what i needed i was documenting my journey with none of you guys knowing it. i was posting out of fear out of stress out of anxiety out of just trying to dig myself out of a hole and fighting against poverty 
all at the same time. All these other people saw it as me just posting these cringy videos about how to look better and all this and that. And to me, that's all I knew. That is literally all I knew. I had nothing else left. That being said, I was gaining all these followers. Things were going well. And then I started this brand, Clean Cut Cosmetics. So right now, I'm going through a lot of turmoil. There's a very high likelihood that I'm going to have to do some things about this to change a lot. But this brand, since 2023, has done over a million dollars in revenue. Now I sit here with over 1.9 million followers across all platforms just to move out of my house into this really nice place that I like. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't even feel completely safe right now. I've made a lot of money. I've done a lot of things, but I have horrible, horrible family issues that I might have to make a video about eventually. So I'm here right now. To be honest, I feel like I have no family other than my brother. My grandma did survive cancer and my mom. And I absolutely love that side of the family. They've been there th for, for me through pretty much everything. Now I'm here. Make videos every day. I try to help you guys improve your lives. To be honest, I want to succeed more right now than I ever have in my entire life. I wake up every single day sick to my stomach with stress of the thought of not being successful. I'm being dead serious. I don't care that I've made a million dollars with my brand. Every single day for the past month, I've woken up sick to my stomach because until I really reach my goals, I will not be happy. And I highly encourage you guys to think the same way. I will never be complacent. I have people right now actively trying to ruin my life. I have a ton of hardship I'm going through right now, but I don't care. Being successful and trying my hardest and doing the right things has got me through it in the past and I believe it will do it right now. So I want to say it's been a long journey. I absolutely love you guys. You guys, to be honest, you're probably the only reason I'm not homeless right now. To be honest, I do make extremely good money. Doing this is going to make it last. And the main reason I want money now is to just put better into the world. I want to find somebody who was in a position that I was in like you guys and help them because I had nobody. I had zero people to help me and I felt hopeless. One thing I know now is that if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm just a 19 year old kid trying to find his way in life and I feel like I, for the first time in my life, kind of have, I have a path, I have a goal. And all I can say is thank you. But anyway, if you want to know about how looks maxing might actually ruin your life, watch this video right here.